Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming, and in this video, I will attempt to guide you properly in how to install and play Warface Global Operation on PC. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but personally, I suck at shooter games on PC. And when they release a new uh, a mobile version of the game, I actually I'm, I'm much better because one thing, auto shoot, I'm a total noob with a shooter game, but I do love to play them on mobile device because of that. It makes my life so much easier. And it's nice to have the opportunity to still play those games on PC as a PC player kind of guy. I don't like to play on my phone, the phone, my phone. My hands, my hands are fat, guys. You can't see them. My thumbs, they're too big to actually be able to press on the buttons properly on a little teeny phone. So personally, playing on PC is the best possible thing for those mobile games. That makes me feel good about myself to be able to play shooter games once in a while and not totally suck at them like I do on a uh, PC, uh, native PC games, to be honest. Anyway, uh, the plan for this video is pretty simple, guys. I will explain, the, I will guide you how to actually download BlueStacks, install BlueStacks, and install Global uh, Warface Global Operation. Then uh, we're gonna jump. We're gonna talk, jump into the game. We're gonna talk about uh, how to set up your keybinds, and then. Lastly, guys, we're going to show some gameplay so you can see the graphics and how the graphics are actually good and the gameplay is for it. So let's get started with how to actually install BlueStack on PC, guys. This is so simple. You go in the description below the video or in the pinned comment section below the video and you click on the link next to Play Warface Global Operation on PC. The link will redirect you directly to this website and all you gotta do is either press download Warface Global Operation here, if you do not currently have BlueStacks on your computer, that will download BlueStacks or if you already have uh, installed BlueStacks, you click on this one here and that will actually just open the game so you can actually install it properly. So for example, if you don't have BlueStacks, you're gonna click here. That's gonna download BlueStacks on your computer. You're gonna save it. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a boom boom chicka boom boom wow pretty much. That's my catchphrase, guys. Don't pay attention to that. But you can see here, this version is actually better than my current version. So we could actually install it. Um, I don't wanna show the full install process on this video because it can actually be long, but I'm gonna download it for sure to be installed later. But obviously if you wanted to install it, I'm gonna cancel right after I start it. But you open the app here, you say yes, and then you press update or install and you follow the instruction and it is that simple guys now once it's done uh it will guide you in installing warface once warface is installed you're gonna be on that screen with the game now you might have issues launching warface or actually uh, my crash with warface so i'm gonna share my personal settings that i found that was working the best for this game first i'm running with uh, the resolution doesn't really matter, but the resolution I'm running with is 2560 by 1440 with 320 DPI. What really matters here, it's here. Engine, you do not want to check use advanced graphic engine mode because I was crashing with this option enabled. You want to make sure it's visible. You want to press a play with play with OpenGL here. Then you want to have hardware encoding uh, enable, and you want to run with two CT CPU cores and four gigs of memory and 60 FPS. And that here, you want to have that on auto. And that's pretty much the only settings that matters. You set those settings there. Everything else, uh, you set the way you want, uh, the way you want your emulator to look. But those settings are very, very, very very important those are the settings you want to set properly so once you set those settings there you can actually edit your keybind you're gonna see that bluestacks already have a native keybind install for the game when you press the button here so pretty much you just uh, set up the keybinds you know the the, the key you want to have it your way like for me 
instead of having one for the healing i have seven because i use a gaming mouse with 12 button on the side so it's really useful for me then the eight is grenade instead of two you can see i did some change you get pretty much you're going to move uh with w a s d your character is going to move with that you're going to have you can see the little mouse here that means you can drag the mouse around to actually move around uh, move your vision around you know uh, left right up down that's pretty much how it works and then you have the other uh, small buttons like the right click here is for example is going to be uh, the zoom the zoom button then this, there's more buttons obviously there's a reload uh, you know a bunch of buttons that you're going to discover with the game obviously but you can actually change those key binds you can add key binds if you want to uh, for example you just want to add the tap spot uh, on the quest there you go i just press put my mouse cursor over quest i press and then we could actually put like for example hell there and then boom save changes and now if I actually, well, when we close that, if I actually press L, I don't think it saved it. <laughs> yes, it saved it. I don't know why it's not working. Oh, whatever. We're going to try to put something different there. But it's supposed to work. Come on, game. Don't be like that to me. Maybe if I move it right over the, the icon here, my actually works better. I don't know. It's supposed to, but, uh, you know, you never know. Nah, it's not working uh, for that button. But uh, when you're actually shooting stuff and stuff, you can actually see, set your keybind properly and then just do it like that, uh, to be honest. And uh, that's pretty much how it works, guys. So that is how you set your keybinds. Uh, next, guys, we're going to jump into the gameplay section so you can see the graphics and everything in action and me using my keybinds too. Because I really play, uh, you're going to see my mouse cursor is going to be in the middle. And you're going to see my grenades being throw away as uh, I'm not actually pressing on them. It's because I'm actually using the key bind, the same thing with the zoom. So you can really set all the key binds you want. Like you could just set uh, the grenade on F, for example, because it's really close to, uh, to your WASD as a movement key. Uh, that will actually be very, very useful, for example. So, guys, that's pretty much how you play uh, Warface Global uh, Operation on PC. If you enjoy the content, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to drop a like on this video. If you have any questions, feedback, whatever, guys, go in the comment section down below and write whatever you got to write, guys. And I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So, guys, let's jump in the gunplay section. You guys enjoy it. And I will see you next time.